friends, how you doing today? I'm Tira. Welcome to Sunshine Party. Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do things a little different. I'm gonna do a vlog check-in since most of the people who watch this channel are friends and family. So let's give you a life update and also this is a creative check-in for all the creative projects I am pursuing all at once. Hi, I'm a Virgo with an Aries moon. I always have to have 50,000 things going at once and I have checklists, and clipboards, and journals to keep track of all of it. Hi, how you doing? Happy pumpkin season. Now that my birthday is over, we can officially start the countdown to Halloween. Today as a filming is September 20th. So that means there's only 10, 31, 41 days until the best holiday of the whole year. So cheers. I'm already drinking some pumpkin flavored coffee. Yes. Guess what? News reporter Tommy Wright coming at you from my official desk. Ooh la la. So I was hanging out with my dear friend Nicole the other day. I only used to see her every so often, you know, because of quarantine and everything. And her new aesthetic, so she's gonna dye, she's got super long hair, like longer than mine, down to her waist. And currently it's red, but she's gonna dye it black to be Morticia Adams. And I was like, yes, I love that aesthetic so much. I feel like I'm still in my Wednesday Adams stage, because in my little, like, skater girl, like, uniform dresses, and I like to do my hair in braids, pigtail braids, as y'all have seen. So a little Christina Ricci right there. But I do, I wanna be a more grown up lady of the dark, you know? So, I'm, so what it is. I wanna be Elvira for Halloween. I wanna adopt that aesthetic, cause you know, she's got the big uh, cat eyes. And of course, the, the boobaliciousness of a deep V. So I'm on the hunt for a deep V dress. So anyways, back to my creative pursuits check-in. I'm learning to play the banjo. Da da! And here's some meat roll of me going to get my banjo. Tragically, uh, when we went to Guitar Center, they did not have the exact model of banjo I wanted. They had a closed back one, I wanted an open back. So as you see, I still have a banjo. I just had to order it from guitarcenter.com and have it mailed to me. But I now have one, and it's super exciting. So Big Rock Candy Mountain is the first song I want to learn. I found one page of music, but of notes to pick through. But that's good enough to start with. I think I can learn that in the next 90 days. If you guys would like, if y'all audience, my dear fans, my sunshine partiers, <laughs> yeah, sunshine, you're my sunshine partiers. You're always up to party in the sun. Even though it's hurricane season right now and there's the great winds blowing with rain, but it's all, it's all sunshine inside, you know? What if I was to do like a live stream and be practicing banjo for half an hour? Help me keep it accountable. You guys get to tune in and see what I'm doing. Be here on the journey since a little background, I've never played banjo before. It wasn't until like early July that I watched a PBS Digital Studio show, uh, Soundfield, which I love so, 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 so much. We'll tag it below, that episode in particular, about banjo, as well as Bela Fleck and Abigail Washburn, the amazing husband and wife duo that play different styles of banjo. Bela does the three-fingered th three scrug style. Well, Abigail is trained in the uh, more, I would argue, more classical claw hammer. I have an Earl Scruggs uh, pick and play book that'll, so I started with that. But the more I research and learn more about banjo and also look at other famous banjo players, like Pete Seeger, uh, I see more of them are using claw hammer. So now I'm trying to relearn before it's too late how to do claw hammer style versus the three finger picking. So, hang out, so we can play banjo together, or you can watch me play banjo, and shout comments of encouragement, or if you know how to play banjo, or know anyone who does play banjo, have them comment below, and I'd love to get some tips and techniques, because it's just me and a book right now learning. I got a whole list of songs I wanna learn. I'm trying to get uh, better at the theory. I don't wanna just read tablature. I wanna actually know like what notes are on each fret of each string. Cause I did, I have 10 years of piano theory and playing locked in this, this 28 year old mind. So I'm sure that music theory can easily translate over to a fretted instrument. This is actually iced by the way, like they're, that's an ice cube. <laughs> Got you. There's never a wrong time for iced coffee. Speaking of pumpkin, unfortunately in the United States at Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts, their pumpkin spice lattes all have milk products in it. 
so us vegans cannot have any, which is quite upsetting. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make my own delicious pumpkin spice syrup that I can have in my coffees and lattes. So stay tuned for that. We're definitely gonna do that in coming up. So yeah, this is a really short video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Make sure to enjoy pumpkin responsibly. I don't want you to get sick of it too soon in the season. Go team go. So yeah, all right. See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>